That's a that's a good difficult question. I think one thing that on the sort of horrific side that stood out was in 2002 in the western Indian state of Gujarat, which is the on the side the Arabian seaside, um, large state run by um, a right wing Hindu nationalist government. Um, there was a state sponsored um, massacre of. Um, Muslims. It was a pogrom, basically, of Muslims. Um, and it was a pogrom in which the police assisted the rioters, in which the political authorities, this is a state of about 50 million people, it's a large state, um, and it mo mostly took place in the capital of that state, Ahmedabad. Um, and so I flew from Delhi to Ahmedabad to, to, to cover this, and I, you know, there were, there were people, I'm, I'm slightly Sorry, I haven't even brought this up because it's not a very pleasant topic to talk about, but it's in terms of most memorable. Um, there were about two, well, more than 2,000 Muslims were, were killed in, in, in these riots, but it was the way they were killed, and it was the fact that authorities were standing around, and there were babies being. But the provocation for this riot, retaliatory riot, was that 58 Hindu pil pilgrims had been burned in a train carriage the day before. Um, and the allegation was it was Muslim um, uh, hawkers um, sort of selling their wares on the platform who had, who had thrown kerosene bottles into the train carriage and burned them. So the manner of the revenge, inverted commas, um, was to pour kerosene down the, the throats of, get, of line up, bring, bring the Muslim families out of their homes or their shops, line them up pour kerosene down their throats and throw a lighted match and then watch them conflagrate. And they did this to children and, and women and I've never seen anything so horrific in my life. Um, it, was, it was the most upsetting thing uh, you could possibly see and to, to, for that to be done to children. Um, but for police to be assisting in it, um, uh, it was uh, I think the most grotesque possible thing of any, you know, any human being. Um, so sorry, I wish I could tell you it was uh, an entrepreneur who you know, invented um, um, the wafer chip or whatever, <laughs> but it was this rather horrific example, it's the most seared on my memory.